Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2003 Mazda Miata MX-5. Here's your underhood label. We'll let you know what you're going to be looking at on this vehicle. This should be the same, if not very similar, to the 99-04 second generation models. To get started, sure. positive crankcase ventilation valve, also known as your PCV. This valve allows blow-by and condensation built up in the crankcase to flow through the intake and combustion process and through the exhaust and catalytic converter. A faulty PCV valve could cause a code such as P0171 to come up in the computer, which is a lean code. Here is your PCV valve. Don't forget if you need any parts shown in this vehicle, look for a link in the description below to purchase them. Now we're going to look at the your EGR valve is on your vehicle to recirculate burnt exhaust gases flowing through the exhaust stream back into the intake and through the combustion process once again. In turn, lowering internal combustion temperatures and reducing NOx, which is a harmful gas. Your EGR valve could send many codes, such as P0400, P0401, P0409, P0405, and a few more. The EGR valve can get clogged with gunk through the ports going in and out of the EGR valve, and the EGR valve itself sometimes goes bad. This is your exhaust gas recirculation valve. Pulling back a little and on the passenger wheel well we have, your canister purge solenoid is a solenoid used by the computer to allow emissions vapors to flow into the intake manifold and flow through the combustion process to be burnt out the tailpipe through the catalytic converter. Your purge solenoid can cause codes such as P0496 and P0441. P0443 and P0445. If any of these codes were to come on, I would start thinking this purge solenoid is at fault or the wiring that controls it could be at fault as well. This is your canister purge solenoid. Crazy how common those actually go bad. Moving on, we're going to find the oxygen sensors on this vehicle. To start us off, right here on the driver's side firewall. Here is your bank one, sensor one, oxygen sensor, or possibly air fuel ratio sensor. Look for a link in the description below to purchase if you need one. Pre-catalytic converter oxygen sensors or lambda sensors measure the amount of air to fuel ratio in the exhaust stream coming from the combustion process through the exhaust stream. With this reading, the computer knows how much fuel to give or take away from the engine to create the perfect combustion air to fuel ratio. A bad oxygen sensor can cause poor fuel economy and also if you have a heater circuit malfunction code such as a P0135 or a P0141 I would start thinking or suspect your oxygen or lambda sensor to be at fault. If you have a lean or rich code, I would at that time start my diagnosis to find a leak in the vacuum system or the exhaust system that the computer cannot fix by giving or taking away fuel from the combustion process. These are your pre-catalytic converter oxygen sensors. Remember to comment below with the year, make, and model of the vehicle that this video has helped you on. To get to your post catalytic converter oxygen sensor, you're going to shimmy under the vehicle right here where the driver and passenger butt would probably be about. Here is the location of your bank one sensor two oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor. If you need one, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase. 
check one, two. Post catalytic converter oxygen sensors or lambda sensors are on your vehicle to measure the air to fuel ratio coming out of your catalytic converter. These want to see a wavelength that is stuck in one position, not switching from rich to lean. If it sees a rich to lean switch in your exhaust stream, the computer will think your catalytic converter is faulty. If you have a P0420 or P0421 or P0422, those codes let you know that catalytic converter is not performing at its optimum level. Those codes could be from a poor catalytic converter or from this oxygen sensor being at fault. If you have a heater circuit malfunction with this oxygen sensor or lambda sensor, I would suspect the sensor itself is bad and replace that at this time. This is your post catalytic converter, oxygen sensor, or lambda sensors. To jam a few more emissions components in this video, here is your vapor canister. Here is your fuel vapor canister, or also called your charcoal canister. It is an emissions control device that traps vapors from the EVAP system and sends them to the fuel tank for later use, if it's working properly. They very rarely go bad. This is your fuel vapor canister. Very rarely do your canisters ever go bad, but sometimes they get cracked or damaged from road debris. If that's not it, maybe it is your vent solenoid. You're gonna find that right here in the wheel well. Your canister vent solenoid is a solenoid used by the computer to allow emissions vapors to release into the atmosphere rather than through the combustion process. The vent solenoid is often used when the vehicle builds up pressure while setting in a hot area or just while the vehicle is off. Also, if you're having a problem pumping gas, your vent solenoid could be at fault as well. Your vent solenoid should open while you're pumping gas to release built up pressure in the EVAP system. If I had any of these codes come up, I would think the vent solenoid is at fault. Codes such as P0449, P0446, and that's it. Your vent solenoid. Now I know that was a lot of emissions components to take in on this short video. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, make sure you comment below with the year, make, model, and engine size of the vehicle that it did help you on. Maybe one of these two videos right here will help you out on another vehicle or further diagnose your vehicle. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for watching.